Hey everyone, Oli Lindley here from One Number, and today we're going to take a look at how to incorporate some degree of password protection into your Tableau public workbooks. So this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, I have uploaded a workbook to Tableau Public. The link is in the description below if you want to go and check this out. And at the moment, nothing is showing. There's nothing really to interact with other than a little parameter that says password. And by inputting the correct password, let me grab that here from Google Sheets and pop it in, uh, we now have access to the dashboard. So this is not super difficult to do. Uh, there are a couple of disclaimers that we'll chat through at the end, but I'll show you how to set this up. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is build your dashboard and Tableau Public. I've simply built a little sheet here, uh, you know, that just contains a map. So if you're already working with something, that's perfect. You can just, you know, you can just incorporate this from there. So I think uh, one thing that you need for this to be successful is some kind of password generator. So if in your organization you use a password keeper like 1Password or LastPass, you can generate a password in there for your Tableau Public dashboard and then everyone has access to that password. Another way of doing it, which I guess would be less secure, would be to have some kind of Google Sheet or OneDrive, you know, kind of um, facility where you're, you're able to update a doc that has passwords on it. Not ideal, but that is one way of doing it and use a random password generator to get you there. Uh, so we're going to need that generated password. So there are two elements. The first that we need to, to incorporate is this parameter. So all our parameter is at this point is just something called like password keeper, you know, or like input password, something like that. And we're going to choose a string uh, data type and we're just going to say all allowable values. That's fine. Then we hit OK, and I'm going to show this parameter. So here's my little password keeper, and it defaults to one. Then we're going to create a filter. So I'm going to create a calculated field, and I'm going to call this filter password keeper. And this is going to be as simple as saying, does my password keeper equal? And now I'm just going to input my random st string, you know, my password like this. So I'll show you how to incorporate all of this now and one or two important disclaimers, but I just want to say that if you are keen to learn more about Tableau, take your Tableau knowledge to the next level, why not join us for one of our classes that we've got coming up to start off the year. If 2024 is your Tableau year, we've got everything from complete Tableau beginners classes to Tableau calculations classes specializing in LODs, parameters, and sets. We'd love to help you take your Tableau journey to the next step. Okay, let's hit OK. We've got this filter password keeper. And just for the sake of our demo, I'm going to hide that and I'm going to take my first filter off. So I'm just kind of resetting my demo model so that we can work with it together. I'm going to put my filter password keeper onto filters. Oh, I need to. So let me just show you as I drop this uh, calculated field on here, my only option is false. Why? Because currently my password keeper equals one, right? Not my password. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste my password in here first, hit OK. I mean, nothing happens now. All I've done is update the value of the parameter. And I'll show you the important thing is that now I drop that filter on here and I can select true, which means that my sheet is going to show as long as my password keeper has the correct value. That value being this little, you know, this little string in here. The minute this changes, my filter is false, right? And so it doesn't show up anything, which is cool. So that's the password element. Then what you're gonna to need to do is, uh, should we command Z this? Then you're gonna to go to server, Tableau public, and save to Tableau public as. Now this can be a little bit of a process. So rather than you know go, taking you through the whole process of logging in and going to my profile and whatever, I'll just show you that completed file over here on my on my Tableau Public. There are two disclaimers uh, to this process. One is Tableau Public is not designed to be a private file sharing website. Use this feature at your own discretion, okay? So if you think this is all sort of the protection that you need, you just need sort of a gatekeeper to make sure that, hey, even if this dashboard is shared or someone gets access to the URL, uh, it's not, you know, that, that's okay. They just kind of stop by a password. That's fantastic. The second thing is 
you definitely want to make sure that you've got some secure way of generating and sharing that password. So I don't necessarily recommend just a doc where you keep passwords. I recommend something like LastPass or OnePassword, any kind of password keeper or generator that you can share within your organization. There is one sort of weakness to this, and that is once you've inputted the password and you go to share, you now have the option to share the current view or the original view. If you share the current view, uh, that's gonna share the dashboard with the password in it. So that is the weakness of this little, this little way of, of um, you know, incorporating password protection in here. Like I said, for some people, this might be enough. It might be that you just walk your team through it and you say, hey, when we share this dashboard, we don't share the current view, we share the original view, uh, whatever it is, um, and that might, be, that might be sufficient. So we've chatted with a number of people, uh, some of whom this is, a, you know, for whom this is a great solution, and for others, this is not exactly the perfect solution. And in that case, we would say, well, Tableau Cloud and Tableau Server exists for a reason. It's a fantastic product, and that's a much more secure way of doing this. So hopefully this is helpful uh, for you if you find yourself in that situation. We'd love to know your thoughts, comments. If you try this out and it works, let us know in the comments below. And if you're frustrated by any of this, let us know too. We'd love to get some of your feedback. All right, until next time, keep well.